Welcome back to the channel, Life of BG. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, comment. Need to buy some real camera equipment. I be BSing around, man. Like I ain't got the money. I just be working so much. I'll show y'all a, a little bit of how my day go every day. I'll show you how to tie down the cable wheel. Really, you're supposed to do two up front, one in all the ones in the middle, and then two on the end. But I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna do two, two chains on the end and one on the rest of the wheels. But I just don't feel like it. And plus, my chain is stuck under uh, some stuff. I don't feel like digging it out. Anyway, about to get started. See why I can prop my phone up. But anyway, you stick the little rod through, through each hole, hook the chain to the um, to the little rope here, pull it through. When you pull it through, you, um, you take the chains around here. Pull the chains through the little bars, then hook it back to the chain. And when you do that, you go on the underside, take your binders, hook the binder to the rail, pull all the slack out the chain and hook the binder to the chain and start tightening it down. That's it. It's really not that hard. It's kind of simple, you know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. You will see a little bit of the process. Give me a minute. This load pay like it pays fifteen hundred on like four hundred and some miles. I forget the exact miles. And it'll put me by the time I deliver tomorrow on Thursday morning in Atlanta, I'll be at ten thousand three hundred gross for the week. I try to gross twelve thousand for the week, but it ain't work out like that. Once I push this rod through, hook the chain to, to the um, rope again, pull it back in. Hey, and for all the fellas or women, if y'all working dead-end jobs, I suggest you get in trucking. Work your way up, build your credit up, try to get your own truck, or you can work for somebody like me where you can have freedom run where you want to run get loads going to florida wherever you know what i'm saying it's best to try to get the load on a wednesday depending on how far you're out from florida or beach area get there by thursday or friday you can have your little vacation over the weekend and then start back up monday i just came from new orleans i just did that i just did that i got a load to new orleans from virginia paying 3100 got to new orleans on saturday been to spend my time in French quarters, got paid, got this, got another load, come up here, uh, paid 2,500 on 634 miles. I got up here this morning, delivered, not here, but in uh, Illinois. Delivered, and I come get this one for 
1500 to get me back home. Like I say, if you're working those dead-end jobs, you need some real money, it's life-changing. Get into trucking. Leave McDonald's, leave Burger King, Publix, whatever grocery store. Especially for my fellas out there, you got child support you want to do for your kids. Get into trucking. Get in the truck. I'm telling you, I grossed 247,000 last year in the pandemic. This year is looking like I might gross 300,000, maybe a little more. I haven't been keeping track. say get your credit right get above 700 so you can stop paying high interest when you finance things like if you want to go get your truck which you should lease the truck anyway because if you lease like a lease to own though you lease it and uh, every payment is a tax write-off if you just uh finance one you can only write off the depreciation so you want to lease to own it if you're going to go the owner operator route the truck with the trailer my truck was this truck i had three trucks but this truck was eighty three thousand, and my trailer was 63 before interest charges so i end up paying total of like eighty six thousand for my trailer brand new truck was used i had three hundred fifty five thousand miles on it and i got it for eighty two thousand so combined is somewhere 
probably like 160. But you can pay all that off in like three, three, four years if you're disciplined. Don't spend all your money with strippers and you know what I'm saying, a bunch of different women. Pay down your debt, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, I like strip clubs too, but at the end of the day, the girls just want your money. And they're not even giving you no slappy toppy or having sex with you. So it's not working. And they're going home today, man. Everybody's done. Got to get the binders and do the tie down. seven binders. Thank 
process all the way down. So that's pretty much it. Like a hundred degrees out here. Yeah, I do all this to get all the can't have the chains loose. Just get all the slack out the chain so the popo DOT won't pull you over. My chains are short in the middle, so I use this called the J hook. Hook inside the rail. Give me an extra, some extra length if I can reach the chain. Pretty much it, folks. Show you how I was really done. I gotta do these. I'll upload more videos once I buy a camera, camera equipment, GoPros, and all that type of stuff. Got those three. I gotta do these three, and I'm out of here.